After we cache this out, this is the result that we have. And now we just need to really fine tune this sort of behavior with our reference. At first glance, you'll notice that the smoke is not nearly as thick. Now we can do a few things with that in the actual shader to tone down the overall effect, but even just in general, it's a lot more sparse than what we have right here. So let's go back and take a look at some of that sourcing. I think it's a good idea to get rid of that minimum threshold. It was a good idea when we were making it at first, but after looking at this, I think that might be a, a good thing to change. And then also I noticed that in our smoke, we have a lot of disturbance going on, and I think it's causing a, a bit of extra noise that is a little bit too much. Also, from experience, I know that the secret ingredient to this whole thing is going to be viscosity. So let's try implementing those three things and see how far we get. Let's now go to our steam source and then under the noises, turn off this minimum. So just like that. And then also on the mid slow noise, let's change this distribution so that more values are becoming a, a low value and less of them are going to be high. So we'll do something a little bit more like that, and that should make the cellular patterns a bit more drastic. So now we have something like that, and uh, for this large fast noise, we could do a similar thing. I think, honestly, this is probably fine. And with that being the case, let's cache that out. Be sure that you hit this reload geo, and now let's go over to DOPS. So in DOPS, let's adjust this disturbance. Instead of 0.25, I'm gonna set that to 0.15. Same thing over here, so 0.15. And then let's also take a look at viscosity. And viscosity is basically how thick something is, or how thick the movement is for the smoke. It's kind of like comparing water to honey. Viscosity is it's gonna make your smoke feel heavier. And what it's doing is it's taking the velocity and it's basically averaging the velocity from surrounding voxels. So right now without any viscosity, the voxels are allowed to go any direction they want with their velocity. With more viscosity, those velocities are going to be similar to the voxels around them. Now we don't need a whole lot of this viscosity, we just need a little bit. So let's try 0.1, and this should make a pretty big difference. Let's also change this resolution real quick. Let's go back down to 250, and play forward a little bit. And now as you can see, the uh, smoke has a very different look to it. It's, again, a lot more thick, it's a lot more clumped together. It's not going in all sorts of crazy directions anymore. And this is, I think, a lot more similar to what we saw in that reference. So with that being the case, there's one more thing I want to change, and that is our wind. So let's go to this motion effects. Let's highlight this uh, noise here, which is going to become our wind. Motion effects. And it's actually going to be this one. No, actually it is this one. We just need to set the visibility right there. And that's going to be the, the red dot or the, the red line. Let's go ahead and go to this noise. We can change this noise as like a seed by adjusting this translate. So if we adjust this, we'll have a, a different result. And maybe let's try something. Oh, I don't know. Something that starts low like that and then the wind picks up and goes away. So maybe let's try something right around there. I think this, this might be a, a decent area in general to try that out. So negative 2.3 or whatever you think looks good. Let's also take the exponent up a little bit or down a little bit and then the amplitude up. So we have a, a little bit more of a gusty behavior out of this, kind of like that. Okay, great. So now that we have that, it looks like 
We're going to have a very different result by the end of this. And let's see what that does. Let's now go for a few more minor tweaks. Um, what I notice here is that I actually don't like what the wind is doing. We don't have enough wind. And on top of that, I think it might be a little bit too viscous. Also, let's extend our bounds. We can see that we're actually hitting the right side right here. And I think that might do it. Okay, so let's turn our viscosity to 0 0.075. Let's go over here to the bounds and bring this over just a little bit, about like that. For the wind, let's try this sort of thing, see what that does. And I think that's about it. Let's try that again. All right, and there we go. I think this is gonna work out just fine. Now again, when it comes to the overall thickness of the smoke, don't get too hung up on the actual viewport here because on the next video, as you're about to see, we can actually bring that way down through the shader.